Hi, this is Jody Beck from Jody's Gems Quilting. I am sharing a new discovery of something I knew years ago and totally forgot when it comes to making the tops of the crocheted towels. So I thought I would share that today. As I was making the crocheted towels this year, it became very evident that, oh, I made a boo-boo all these years. So if you notice this one here, the edges are straight. I don't know if it's easy to see that or hard to see that. But the edges are straighter than they were on the ones I've done over the years. See how they have a bump? They go in and out every other one. Now if you want it that way, follow the instructions for my original pattern or my original video. If you want them to be right, which I have no idea how I figured that out this year and no other year. Um, you're just going to do your chain two at the end of a row. And before I would have gone into this first stitch, but this year, for some reason, I remembered to go in the second stitch instead. And that's truly the way you're supposed to do it, I believe, when you crochet. And all of those who are avid crocheters know that. So thank you for not saying too much on my video and correcting me. So what that means is, before I would have stopped here, done my two chains, and gone on to the next row. As you can see, I only have one, two, three, four, five stitches right here. And I, you need six, because you've got to leave an opening for the button between the stitches. So I don't put a loop on the end. I've never liked that. It just always seemed to be just not right. So I just leave, do my six stitches and have a button. I figured out this year about three quarters of an inch will work perfect. And then you just can push it through to hang it on a towel bar, to hang it on a, a drawer pull in the kitchen. And I actually have this where I can just loop it onto in my bathroom, I use it at the end of a portable closet bar. So what you're going to do to make it even on each end is you're going to go into the chain two threads on the top, the top two threads, where there's one underneath still. I don't know if it's easy to see that or hard to see that and then you're going to chain again. Do your double crochet. Then you're going to chain your two, turn, and again you're going to skip this first stitch. You're not going to go in there, which typically I would have done in the past. Go in the second, crochet across, double crochet, sorry, double crochet across the row, and the directions for this will be on my other video that I posted probably last year. So you're going to do, again, you're going to double crochet in the chain. Oops. Chain two. I think I'm almost done. This might be my last row. And you're going to chain across. Let me count these just to make sure. I like to do ten rows. So here's two, four, six, eight, nine, this is my last row. Oops, sorry. Still haven't figured out how to do the camera well. Got a new phone. This is the first time I'm doing videos on my phone instead of my camera like I did in the past. And what I want to do is show you that when you get to the end, you're still going to go into the chain Okay, I want to have six, so I have a space for the one in the middle for the button. One, two, three, four, five, six. When you get done, I just cut off so much yarn, pull it through, then I flip it over. Oops! And you're going to come along and you're going to pick up stitches as you go. I might as well show you this since my towel's done. 
and I just fill up my crochet hook and this is the little one that I used to put the original chain attached to the towel. So I go through and I try to pick stitches that are on the back side or the actually the inside so it would be the inside of this which is the front side of the towel. So I hook it and then I kind of pull those stitches open a little bit and you just hope and pray that it comes all the way through and doesn't get caught on the other threads. And if you want to bury it a little more, this is just burying your, your thread or your yarn. I'm just going to come through. You can also just cut it off, but I try to keep as much of that as I can. There you go. Does that look good? Then I cut that off. There you go. All done. Anyway, I hope you have fun with this. And the rest of the video, my other video, will show you about putting the, I actually will put the button in this row. So I'll kind of tighten those up a little bit. Um, and I probably could have done every stitch in there. I just didn't on this set. And I had a good time this year. I actually made probably 12 or, oh, was it 16? 16 to 20 of these this over Christmas, uh, just traveling with my husband. So it was good. So it is now ready to go, ready to put add the button on there and hang it. So I'm now stocked, and I have enough done to last me for several years. Have a great day. God's blessings to you. Bye.